go ahead. So, Martin, I guess a good follow-up question. Let's think about monetization, right? When, when we talk with some of our customers, as they market NFV, as they market SDN, a lot of what they're thinking about is the savings, as you know, what we talked about. Monetization seems to be a harder issue. We all know you can't, you really can't save your way to growth, right? You can save your way to a profit, but you can't save your way to growth. How do you think about monetization and what opportunities, uh, let's say, NFV opens up for monetization? Well, that's a good question. But, um, when you look to the overall picture, yes, of the systems itself, and 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 when you look to the possibilities, the mobile operator these days, and, and when I look to an iPhone or a, a Samsung, whatever, and you look to how beautiful it is with all the apps inside, actually the new systems are actually net network function virtualization is actually an iPhone with all the apps inside. So based on that, actually telecom itself becomes from very complexity a very simple system. So what happens is a mobile operator will go to the next phase in its possibilities. For instance, use its, cap its own capacity in lines to, the, to, to many places in, in a country, yeah, where actually it can connect to stadiums, bus stations, railways. So actually you start connecting other possibilities within the total system. The one other more very important element is that by going 4G, 5G, yes, you will get more people who will start hacking from around the world. More people have access to hack. So what happens is the way how we build systems, actually, we also try to upgrade because we have more control to get more security. So when you look to the investment and you look to all the elements and you see with also, because we work fully API based also, you can integrate banks, you can integrate access control, you can integrate identification control, much better than anything else and more secure because we are the base, we are the core, with direct information from the core, data mining when as it needed, you know, to protect and all kinds of other things are much more wide, yes, that's the reason the Googles of this world are starting in MVNO because they see even with their elements, Yes, you cannot it. get as much as when you are a system like ours, fertilized, yes, with all that information you have. So really security and new applications that allow you to attack new markets. Yes, and using your old systems, like your lines and fibers, to many, many locations in the countries for all kinds of other services. Because you actually can start concentrating, instead of concentrating only on the business what you're doing in selling a mobile op a mobile phone with, an, with a SIM card to have some minutes, you actually start using all your elements of all your systems in a different way. Your access control, you know, you get, because systems like a firm networks, you actually can go to parental control through a GTSN. You start controlling the complete environment, not only for the MNO, but also for the end customers. So your business model completely changes by the new things we are developing today. And are you seeing some of that, Hassan? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, Alphon uh has a vision that's uh, you know really leading edge. I, I would say actually, that you're, to your point about uh, monetization being a second thought in the operator's mind, that's that's pretty normal, I think, because you have to have a network before you can utilize it. Um, but but the one thing that's clear is it's going to happen, and the reason is that you can forecast very clearly that data access revenues, which have been growing in the operator's world, will start to tail off in about a three to four year time horizon. And therefore, you need digital services coming up to take up the slack in some sense. Um, the biggest problem in today's uh, legacy network architectures is just simply that they're so inflexible, it's a year-long experience to do anything. You look at the Googles of the world, as uh, as Martin mentioned, and, and they can innovate much more rapidly. That's where the operator has to be, has to be able to innovate in internet time. And that's where um, the service architectures of NFV make a big difference. Uh, when you can reduce nine months to hours or minutes, now you can experiment with business models. Great. Thanks, guys. <clears throat>